this is part two. Uh, Randy here, Delenco Alternative News. Um, just showing you another uh, uh, subdivision of Delenco uh, that is failing horribly uh, in terms of the real estate crash because, you know, these houses sold for a lot of money and they're just not worth what they are today. Uh, I'm estimating that uh, probably all of these homes, every single one of them, are uh, underwater. Uh, completely underwater and you probably find a lot of these people are in some type of uh, uh, a default in itself so one of the things that we have to take into consideration uh, is that these things are going on and that people are hurting because the real estate market uh, is uh, has been uh, uh, obliterated and the fact of the matter is regardless of what anybody tells you these markets will never come back. If somebody telling you that real estate is coming back, they are lying to you, period, point blank. You've heard the truth, that's the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Um, you have all of these other uh, subdivisions that they've built here as well. I mean, they just try to pack it in everywhere. And uh, uh, some of these homes uh, are uh, uh, not occupied. So what you see here um, uh, consistently is uh, greedy uh, uh, developers that want to pack in. Uh, you know, it was interesting. I was speaking to a, uh, uh, I'm not going to say whether he was a uh, current or uh, 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 former member of the Delanco uh, Joint Land Use Board. But he basically told me is that, uh, you know, if you have money, uh, 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 you can get what you want to get done in terms of real estate development. But if you are a local uh, person that wants to put up a fence or uh, fix a deck, uh, the answer typically from the Delanco Township and the Delanco Joint Use Board is no. And so one of the things that he saw in uh, uh, dealing with these folks is that, um, and that he sees with dealing with these folks is that they're really not for the people. Uh, they're really not for the people. They are, they're entrenched just like you have federal uh, folks uh, in the Senate and the Congress. Uh, you have the same kind of entrenchment of uh, uh, special interests in the local areas as well. This is another subdivision that they have developed. Um, uh, you see how all these houses they didn't packed here? Now the difference between those the the other houses in these subdivisions is that a lot of people rent out these apartments so what you have uh, see and, and a lot of these apartments um are, are again they're they're underwater or, or they're vacant uh and uh they cannot uh, uh, uh be recovered this is a, another uh, failed uh real estate development deal that's taking place you see how they packed all of these houses i, I had no idea that all these houses were back here until I actually spent the time to drive back in. This is also in Delanco, uh, New Jersey. And you have a lot of these houses being foreclosed on and uh, that are overall in the same kind of situation. So uh, what do you do? Uh, you know, uh, uh, it's interesting. I spoke to about uh, two separate uh, folks that uh, own property over here. And they said that, hey, you know, the real estate market is never going to come back. What they're doing is they're renting out the apartment but not paying the mortgage. Uh, so what they're doing is that they're collecting uh, the rent revenue from the tenant, but they're, themselves they're not paying the mortgage. And the bank is going to pay. Because, you know, banks don't pay property taxes. Once the, 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 the house is officially goes into foreclosure and it's uh, uh, vacant, you see a lot of these places. You see an, a, another uh, real estate uh, for sale sign. A lot of these places... Uh, that's what you see happening is is uh, you see you, you could tell three three places uh, in one vacant uh, you could just tell that these places um, are not being uh, 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 occupied and a lot of these are rentals and what you have again is you have the actual owners of the property that use it for investment purposes now that it's not making enough money for them to cover their high mortgages, they've decided to just say, hey, you know what? Hey, let, let me uh, go through the foreclosure process and let me rent out the, uh, a property at the same time. So now it's become a net profit for them. So um, uh, because a lot of people are catching on to this thing, you know, you can live in your apartment or your, your, your house. If you own it, you can rent it out. 
uh, uh, live there and uh, live there for free or rent it out and get the rent revenue and not pay the mortgage. Uh, and you could do this about two and a half years. And what do you care about your credit score if, you know, your credit score is probably in a dumps already? I mean, really, who has a 700 credit score in this day and age? In the industry I'm working in, they're not even looking at credit scores these days. You better be lucky to have a job um, uh, because a, a lot of people uh, don't have jobs. You have a lot of senior citizens that live in, in these homes over here. Um, uh, they're struggling. And the uh, township is, is going up on their taxes, going up on their sewage bills. And uh, you, you find uh, 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 people here and there, uh, or you hear stories about the elderly people eating cat food. Um, why? Because they're on a fixed, uh, 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 they're on a fixed um, income, and uh, they just can't afford to, to live. And uh, you also have a situation as well with uh, 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 Social Security is uh, uh, being going to be cut by the Obama administration. And then you have Obamacare. So you have all of these things taking place uh, in a uh, small space of, of time when it comes to uh, uh, our local community. And it's going to crush, it's really going to just crush uh, the local uh, elderly as well as uh, uh, people that are, uh, you know, have to pay higher taxes because they're not getting increased incomes. Uh, their wages and their salaries are not going up, uh, but their expenses are going up. So this is what uh, a, a collapse of uh, uh, an industrialized civilization looks like, ladies and gentlemen. And anybody that tells you that it's not happening is lying to you or they uh, are too stupid to chew gum and uh, uh, pat their head at the same time. Or they're probably a politician just trying to tell you what you want to hear. Don't believe the hype.